Welcome, everyone, to another edition of To Your Health, a program designed to bring you information on healthy living, featuring those who make a healthy living lifestyle possible. I'm Fred Zucker, your host, coming to you from the campus of Parker University in Dallas, Texas. Today, our special guest is Dr. Rick Wren. Dr. Wren and I go back a long way, and I can tell you this, Dr. Wren is a, a legend in the chiropractic circles. Dr. Wren, welcome to the program. Thank you. I'm very glad to be here and excited to uh, spend this next uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes with you, Fred. Thank you, Rick. Well, Dr. Wren has been in chiropractic for a number of years. He's a TCC graduate, Texas Chiropractic College graduate. Dr. Wren, tell us a little bit about your, your background, your career, and how you got started in chiropractic. I always want to know about that for my guests. Well, I've been such a strong supporter of uh Parker uh, seminars and, and uh, Parker University. Everybody assumes I graduated from Parker, but uh, right. Parker didn't exist. Um, yeah, back in those days. Yeah, when I when pre Parker Parker University Parker College didn't exist when I graduated. I graduated May of 1980 from Texas Chiropractic College, um, which you've also worked there before. Yes, sir. That's where we first met each other, and. Uh, Basically, when I was going to chiropractic college in 76 to 80, we were called freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors back in those days, but, but we did go year-round. And all the successful doctors, even before I started, were always saying, all right, go to, go to college, get your degree, get your license, and then go to Parker Seminars to learn how to be a good, successful chiropractor. So right. um, we... Uh, advanced from there and um, I actually attended my first uh, Parker seminar as a junior intern in uh, March of 1978. 1978. Yeah. Yeah. There's a funny story about that that people like to hear me say from the stage that uh, we had a we had a group of uh, doctors. It, it was a dozen of us that uh, all believed in Parker, believed in the Parker doctors and believe we should do what they told us to. Mm -hmm. And so we would meet every Friday and do like they said, wear your suit and ties, act like a doctor, dress like a doctor, tip, you know, 20%. You know, and you're, you're talking back 1978. That was a lot of money. It was a lot of money in those especially, days. Especially when in school. Yes, sir. Anyway, we all decided we we're going to go to our first Parker seminar in Dallas, Texas, downtown Dallas at the Hilton, which is uh, – Last time I drove by it, it's all boarded up and right. condemned. And I think maybe they're trying to turn it into a hotel or a condo or something now. But right. anyway, the moral story is is uh, we loaded up a caravan of cars. Uh, we had uh, ice chests full of beer, ice chests full of bologna. And, uh, just we, the basics. Yeah, yeah, just the basics. Drove up the highway, I-45 I from Pasadena, Texas, up to Dallas. Of course, uh, Parker College did not exist at the time. Drove up to the downtown Dallas Hilton, one, all of us wearing our one and only suit and tie and stepped out. You know, here we are, world. And I can remember to this day, we walked in and got the most expensive suite. We had it booked. The most expensive suite in the Hilton, uh, and it was, you know, this is 1978, so it was 220 bucks a night. But we had 22 of us staying in there, so we had a way we could afford it. Yeah, if you divide it by 22, that's not so bad. Not so bad. So uh, our goal was to find as many doctors as we could that were seeing uh, anywhere from 50 to 100 a day or more and drag them up to the suite and give them free <laughs> beer and free bologna and uh, and have long conversations after class. And that's, right. that's where it all began and started. And uh, here I am 178 seminars later. 178 seminars later. That is that a record, Dr. Wren, or is, is there anybody that's, that's outdistanced you in attendance at Parker Seminars? There was a gentleman by the name of Art Aston uh, that I would be, I would think that he probably had as many or a few more, maybe even hit busted the 200 mark. Really? Something like that. He, he's been dead probably at least four or five years. He was uh, in charge of the Sharon Deputy or what is now known as the Parker Star Search. Star Search, right. And uh, now Todd Watson's uh, in, responsible for that. Right. But he was there all the time. Of course, back in those days, we were going to six seminars a year, and so it was easier to get the numbers way up. Now we're just doing two or three a year, so right. I, I don't see that anybody's ever going to catch 178. No. I just don't see that happening. I think your record is safe. Yeah, I think it is too. But very much so. 
Well, the Parker Seminars have been uh, instrumental in the professional lives of so many chiropractors over the years. To what do you attribute that remarkable pattern of success over those many years? Well, what is going on in our profession now, it was going on uh, when I started chiropractic college, and it's still going on now, where I, I have been on the phone the last week with a couple of different guys that they're smart, they're intelligent, they pass the boards, got their license easily, but what they're doing in practice is not things that we've been teaching at Parker for since the early 50s. Right. They've been taught on how to do, you know, a good day one, how to good, do a good day two, a regular visit, what you should be focusing on, what you should be teaching. And uh, I was just talking to a gentleman the other day that a uh, doctor in uh, California. He's been in practice 17 years. And uh, I was going through the things he needed to make sure was happening during the report of findings. And uh, he was just dumbfounded. And, 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 and the sad part is, is he goes, how come I've never heard of you before? And he found me on Facebook. He's been in practice 17 years. Yeah. And I said, well, you know, have you ever been to Parker seminars? And he said, well, I think I went to one, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And, uh, I said, well, this stuff's been taught at Parker forever. Right. And if, if you'll just go, you know, I, I believe if somebody will, will go to seven in a row just to get them a jump start and then still go at least a couple times a year, whatever, the rest of their life, they're going to be successful uh, and and have a lot of success. But um, so many doctors, you know, even back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, are just so confused on what they really needed to be successful. I mean, uh, you know, we know examples all the time of somebody that does great in school and then they get out and they just sit behind their desk and think success is going to happen. It's going to come to them. It's going to come to them. And, and if you don't know what to do, what to say, and how to educate your patients, uh, quite honestly, you know, they're going to starve. I mean, I, I work with people all the time, the doctors that are starving. And part of the Parker spirit is very be very willing to help other doctors to succeed and, and do things. You know, I have a website now because I get tired of repeating this stuff over and over and over. And everything you need to know is on that website. Uh, and, you know, I, I give people a coupon code when they can join it. It's only 69 bucks a month. But it's not about the money. I just, I, I know that if I tell them it's zero and, and free, they won't even study it. Right. They won't even do it. They won't have the same power. No. So, but when they join, I give them my cell phone number. I let them text me. I let them email me. Uh, the guy in California is shocked. I've called him like twice because the texting was going to be too long back and forth. Right. And I just I just needed to help him. And he goes, why are you helping me so much? I said, well, that's what doctors did for me. You that's know, right. Park, Parker Seminars. I'm just passing it forward. Right. And how special would it be if all chiropractors were very successful? And everybody helped each other, and they saw that as part of their their philosophy, which is what Dr. Parker developed, that philosophy, 65 years ago, Dr. Rendis. We just celebrated the Sapphire celebration of the 65th anniversary of the Parker Seminars here in Dallas back in uh, October. And you were part of that. Thank right. you very much. And you gave us your perspective when we rededicated Dr. Parker's statue on the campus. Tell us about that, that philosophical perspective that Dr. Parker brought to this that continues to inform us to this very day. Well, he loved it. You know, he had all these acronyms, uh, but, you know, the one that sticks with you all the time and one of the first thing to come out of Parker people's mouths is LSMFT, you know, loving service, my first technique. And, right. And he was teaching that, but that he wanted you to do that in practice, you know, love your patients and, and take good care of them, whatever. But it also applied to the doctors that you hung around when you came to Parker seminars. Right. Uh, I couldn't tell you you know, when I was a, you know, junior, senior uh, intern, how many hundreds of dollars were, were spent on me and the other student doctors by the successful doctors hanging out in the bar with these guys afterwards. And they just wanted to help you so much. And they would, you know, buy your drinks, buy your food, you know, whatever. We would have minimal out-of-pocket expense when we hung around these guys. And it was just invaluable. And 
most of those guys were seeing 100 to 150 a day, you know, back in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. And, um, and that just carries over and over and over. And that ethos, that tribe that we create here has a lot to do with why we do what we do. Right. Just loving you unconditionally, and we want you to succeed. But we can only help you if you want to be helped. That's right. Well, one of the reasons we're having our podcast today is because we've got a Parker seminar coming up not long from time, from today in February. We're, this is the end of January that we're recording this session today. The seminar coming up in Las Vegas, which is the premier event in the Parker Seminar pantheon of, of events. Tell me about this, the Vegas seminar. It's the biggest one. It's uh it's something that's sort of legendary in the Parker Seminar history. Tell us about your experience with that. Well, the interesting thing is, is I've been to Vegas uh, every year since 1981. I went into practice in September 8th, 1980, and I'd only been going to the Dallas seminars at the time, which was three a year because I was a student. And so I made it a point that me and a couple of other guys that were doing the you know, the Parker thing from the college that we were going to go to the first Vegas. And that first Vegas was the one that you can go into uh, Jim Parker's museum and see him flying in a helicopter off the roof with the briefcase because the um, MGM at the time is what it was, had this massive explosion where all the oxygen tanks blew up uh, because they pump oxygen into the air fire started above where the oxygen tanks were. Nobody knew what was going on, and then all of a sudden, boom, it blew up. Killed a number of people that were down in the casino. Of course, uh, people were upstairs, and the fire started and all that. And so uh, Jim uh, finally gets flown by a helicopter off the roof. Right, yeah. And you can see the picture, and he's got his briefcase. You know, and he was there at the MGM, not at seminar time, but getting ready for seminar. So... I ended up going to my first uh, Parker seminar at uh, the Aladdin, which was next door, Right. which was uh, at that time owned by Wayne Newton. And um, A legend. Of, in yeah, Vegas, yeah so. Wayne Newton's very famous. You know, he's probably, you know, 75, 80 years old oh, now, yeah. right. still singing, whatever. But we were in his hotel. Dunk of shame. Yeah, dunk of shame. <laughs> but we were in his hotel because uh, the MGM was, you know, pretty much destroyed. Now, they... Uh, remodeled it and fixed it up, and, and we went back in there, and, and it's changed names. MGM built a bigger, nicer hotel. Uh, right. I don't even know what the old MGM is called now, but it's not MGM anymore. Um, but I've been, uh, see, this is not, what is this, 2017. 2017 so I've, I've been to Ever Vegas, uh, which is usually January or February, uh, since 81, so what's that, 19 plus 17 coming up, so that's 36 years. 36 years. 36 years I've been there in Vegas, and Vegas is cool because there's all kinds of cool stuff going on there. Right. Um, and there's shows and there's gambling right. and all that, but I try to get everybody to hang out in the bar after hours so where we can sit around and talk and share and talk chiropractic and, you know, find ways to help each other. And, and, of course, a lot of people that are new, you know, they're all enamored with Vegas and they're going out every night. And I'm always right. saying, hey, when you come back, I'm going to be sitting right here. You know, stop by and say hello. Let's talk some. So the ones that, that uh, join our tribe get more out of it than those that are just going out and doing Vegas only. I get it that you want to do right. Vegas. But sure. But we want you to be part of our tribe. Absolutely. Well, the seminar itself has a great array of speakers and events going on. And those are worthwhile, of course, because that's where you learn a lot of the substance of chiropractic and you get a lot of the inspirational speakers and so on. But you've made several references to the to the non-official, formal part of the program. And for newcomers, I'm sure they, they need to understand just what you've said, that it's not so much this program, that's important, but it's that stuff that you learn in the lobby and the the waiting areas and interactions with the people that have been experienced, the veterans like yourself. Wouldn't you say that's probably one of the most important things? It's the, it is the real reason I've been 178 times because of the people that I've gotten to know over the years, uh, in the bar, in the hallways, in restaurants, whatever. Um, it, it's that connection to where it's a brotherhood and sisterhood, and, and you're there to help each other. My best right. friends in the world are, are through Parker Seminars. 
Do you get to see them every time you go back to the cinema? Most of them, I'm sure, trying to make an effort to get back there if they can, just to continue that. The that. most common one that people show up to, even if they've fallen off the grid a little bit, is Vegas. Right. And so that's one of the reasons why it's exciting to go to Vegas, because I, I know maybe people I, I don't get to see as often as I used to years ago. Because what happens is they start out and they come every one for you know a few years, and then maybe they'll have an, another kid or have their first kids or, you know, whatever. Right. Life intrudes. Yeah, or maybe now they got two dogs instead of one dog, you know, and, and then their reasons for getting there on a regular basis changes. So um, Vegas is always wonderful because people that you don't get to see every single time usually are making it at least to Vegas. But then right. you do, you have those like me that uh, show up, you know, every single time. Right. Well, I know we've made a special effort this year to make the attract the for the pricing for the program attractive, uh, giving some some special incentives because it was the 65th anniversary. So we're expecting a big crowd for this year. Yeah, uh, you, you know they lowered the price a lot, and, and well, I guess I could include you and they you mm, yeah, yeah part of the team. Yeah, uh, and I think that it, I think that it was good because uh, uh, Parker has historically always attracted people at the high end of the profession, but also people at the low end of the profession that, that are struggling and right. wondering how they're going to do it or whatever. So uh, I think it's exciting that we lowered the price down to, you know, one ninety nine, um, And uh, I don't remember what the price was, but it's... It, it's, it's a, considerably higher than that. Yeah, it was I'd saving 100, 100, 200 bucks or so, you know, at a seminar. So, I, yeah, I'm excited about it. In, in this particular seminar, too, we're... We're shooting for quality, you know. We're we're that's wanting right. we're wanting to put on a, a great experience. I guess that's my ESPN thing on my phone. I forgot to turn it off. It's okay. um, um, but that's part of the process, you know. That's the the whole idea is having quality speakers that are able to to master and present their material, but also some inspirational speakers as well. People that can help, uh, you know, sort of inspire and motivate people who are attending. So there's sort of a you know, different elements. Plus there's a CA track for the chiropractic right. associates. Those right. who make the, the operation work, they'll have a, a whole track for them this year as well. Well, one of the things I want to make sure that uh, our first time attendees uh, understand is most of the people that I talk with that are struggling in practice are not doing the right things on day one and two. And that typically is a basic class, you know, uh, what to do on day one, what to do on day two. And a lot of people, oh, you know, that's beneath me. I don't need to be going and doing that. But these these guys and girls that I'm talking to, you know, by text or email or on the phone, they, uh, they're they just not doing – they may be doing 20%, 25% things right on day one and day no. two. And so people, they'll, they'll do a show and they'll get 10 new ones there, but those 10 new ones are gone in one or two weeks because they don't – they don't educate them properly right. is why they should do more care. So I would encourage, yeah, let's go see more of our, you know, uh, exciting, inspirational speakers. Yeah, I get that. But we try to make it to where everybody's in the same room when we're doing that. Right. But when we have the breakouts, if you are not a master of day one and day two, you've got to study that. And um, right. Dr. Gene Orlowski uh, will be heavily involved in that. And he's a good friend of mine. He's been going since around 78, 79 that's right. Also, He's so, a veteran. so I would I would uh, highly encourage that. Well, there are stars like you and Dr. Olowski and many others that are perennial favorites at the seminar, as well as new people that come in. So like you said, you sort of get that continuity if you attend year after year. You see the changes, but you also see the, the spirit of the, of the seminar that pervades all those going over the 65 years of the history of the program. And you're a big part of that, Dr. Wren. You're a part of the history. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You know, I was uh, 23 years old when I went to my first Parker seminar. Yeah. And I just turned 61. So it's just, it's just odd. And I'm in the exact same building that uh, we opened practice in in 1970, no, 1978, excuse me, September 8th, 1980. And my wife has been to 60 or 70 seminars herself. Right. And she runs the front of the office. So she carries a lot of that stuff on. I would like to say that people out there that, you know, we're only three weeks away from Vegas 2017 because uh, it's the 23rd, 24th, 25th. That's right. 
a lot of you will hear this and go, well, you know, I really don't have time to get there right now. If you got time at all, I would, I would get my butt there. But as you're trying to decide how Parker could be in your future, I would encourage you to go to SOCM1895.com, and for free, you can watch about 50 two- or three-minute uh, videos of things that I learned at Parker, and they help people. Right. There's a lot of details there, but then there's more details, you know, available elsewhere. But I've had hundreds of people go there and watch those free videos and you know, text me, uh, email me, and go, man, I, I just didn't realize what I didn't know. Right, right. And that will give you a, a, a good dose to help get you jump started and change your practice, but give you a reason why you should be at Parker, which the next time we're going to be at Parker is going to be sometime in April at uh, Baltimore. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's when we're talking 2017. April 28th, I believe, is the first day for the ball. I, I don't have the date memorized, but I, yeah. I know that it's pretty fast. Yep. It's going to be like six weeks after Vegas. Right. And we will be in Baltimore, Maryland. And so I, I encourage uh, those that, of you that hear this can at least make it to Baltimore if you haven't made a plan to get to Vegas. But uh, I find that uh, flights are still pretty cheap. Yep. So you can get Now's to Vegas. Now's a good time to plan. Yeah, you can get to Vegas. We're, we're still three weeks out. So oh, yeah. It can happen. The sooner they can uh, sign up, register, the better. We're about to be sold out. The, the, the exhibitors, and that's another part of the seminar, we have the sponsors and the vendors who come with the products and services that are used by chiropractors, and that's a big part of the program, the exposition. Yeah. And that's open, and we encourage the sponsors to, to be reaching out to the people with samples and giveaways and all kinds of things that will take place on the expo floor in Las Vegas in particular. Yeah, well, we normally have some type of big giveaway. Right. And what is it this year? Do you remember? Well, there's a cash card that's going to be done. So there'll be cash. I'm not sure how many dollars it'll be, several thousand dollars. And people will go around and get the people to sign off on their cash card. And it's drawn out of a bucket, right? That's correct. At the end of the program, we'll draw the name of the winner of the cash card. But there'll be other giveaways as well that are going to be done during the program. Different vendors, different sponsors will be offering their products and services in giveaway formats of one kind or another. Plus, there'll be entertainment. I'm not quite sure how all that's going to take place, but I'm I'm reassured by my colleagues that there'll be some special entertainment opportunities that uh, people will be able to take part in in Vegas. Right. Yeah, I've been hearing some rumors about it. It sounds pretty exciting. I so think it's going to be fun. Vegas is always uh, exciting, and almost always there's a surprise. Even somebody for like, like me, you know, I just I get there and go, whoa, I didn't, wow. know, I right. didn't know this was going to happen. Something for everybody in Vegas. Oh, yeah, ab- yes, sir. Ab- absolutely. Yes, sir. Well, Dr. Wren, thank you so much for being on our program to your health. We really appreciate it. Hope that you'll be able to come back again soon. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you again in Las Vegas in just a few weeks. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, please tune in again to more To Your Health. Join us again in our next program. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <music>